Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's a good day. I hope you're feeling it. So it is Monday morning. It is 8.30 in the morning. I just woke up. I have university today. My class starts at 9. I'm not making it. It takes over an hour to get to university for me. I'm probably not going to make my 10 o'clock class either. But let's start the day at 11. I had so many goals and ambitions for today. Like I really wanted to wake up at Fudgered and go to the gym and just get everything together. But it just didn't happen. Honestly, I'm not even upset. But By the way, I'm weekly vlogging, but I don't know how much I'm going to vlog today, to be honest. But anyways, let's get today started. So um, this is how my Monday is going. This is my zipper. And it's meant to be zipped up right now. But um, it's not. But it's fine. I can make it work. This is me trying to fix my life. Like, not really fixed, but temporary fix is as good as it's going to get. So, yeah. I'm going to try to be a bit more optimistic. It's a little while later. I'm wearing a pink gin bab. And I really wanted to wear, like, um, not pink. What colour? Beige. But <sighs> some minor difficulties happened with that and a bird on the washing line. So, couldn't wear that today. And I'm also wearing these, this skirt. So, that's basically my life, and I just really want to, <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm sick. I really want to have some breakfast and try to be a bit more positive today. We'll see how that goes. Hey, y'all. So, summary of my life. Let me try to fix this first. So, I'm at university. I don't know if you can hear the traffic. I'm sitting under a bridge. I don't know if you can hear the water. I'm sitting next to the river. So this is like my hiding spot at university because the whole university is just packed and it's just overwhelming and I hate it. So this is my hiding spot. I'm gonna share it with you guys. So if anyone is at Western Sydney Parramatta campus, it is right near the river. So you go down to the river, then you go right and you follow it down a little bit. And then you get to this epic spot where no one is ever here and I'm in third year now and every single time I come here I'm the only one here so it's really good anyways so let me tell you about my day so far it is 1 30 and I've been to two classes and both of my classes are so hard and I'm just very overwhelmed already one of my classes I have a group presentation which is just not a good idea I just hate group presentations because everyone just lets me down and I hate that I have to work with people and that my grades are dependent on their work as well. But anyways, and then I have another group presentation, which I don't think will be that bad to be honest. But for that class, I have a 4,000 word essay about history. And she basically said, um, this is not a subject that should be taught in your degree because it's too hard for your degree. And she said, it's supposed to be for like a postgraduate degree and I'm an undergraduate. And she's like, and I'm literally like petitioning to have this not taught in this degree because of how hard it is. But you guys have to, in the meantime, put up with it. So I have to take this class that is too hard for me. She literally said like, everyone struggles, the success rates and like pass rates are so low. And I'm just overwhelmed because she said that. But to be honest, it does sound interesting. It is a history subject. So the essays and everything is always really, really long. But Honestly, I'm just overwhelmed and I almost missed my bus this morning and I didn't bring any food so I brought, so I brought Subway and they didn't have Italian herb and cheese bread. I know first world problems and you guys are seeing me in my most sooky state but today is just a really bad day and I'm supposed to be out of the house until 10, 30, 11 at night tonight. Um, that's what my Mondays usually look like. Every day is really packed for me But that's what my Mondays usually look like From like morning until night and honestly, I think I'm just gonna bail and go home early because I Just don't want to deal with today Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah I just don't want to deal with it. Anyways, it is really nice weather though, so I'll give it that and and they didn't have any of the toppings that I wanted on my Subway. But they do have cookies. So I mean, that's a plus. Also, I'm staring right into the sun right now. So if I'm squinty, that's why. 
Anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye. Wait, also something else I forgot to tell you guys is there's like so many people that have seen me without a scarf in my classes and it's so awkward because I haven't seen these people since I put the scarf on because I made like majority of my classes last semester at another campus so that I didn't have to see anyone but they're all seeing me without a scarf on um, with a scarf on and I know that it's awkward and there's two guys in my classes that asked me out before I put a scarf on I rejected them and now this is just really awkward and it's just like I know that they think of me without a scarf so makes me feel uncomfortable but what can you do anyways that's my second story there's just so many people that just know me without a scarf on and it's not even like people that actually know me know me it's just like we've took classes together so I'm really sad <laughs> adding to the list of why my day is terrible I'm eating sun-dried tomato on my subway for the first time it actually tastes good would recommend and by the way I talked so much that I don't think I'll be able to make this a weekly vlog because I almost have so much footage already and it's only been half of one day. How do people weekly vlog? Like, do they not vlog? I, I don't understand. Anyways, I'm just gonna like stay here and literally just chill and by myself and watch the river until 3 p.m. when my next class is. So, talk to you guys later. Okay, so you know what? It's actually beautiful weather. Like, look at that. Beautiful. And I've decided I'm not gonna be negative anymore. I'm going to be positive and there's two people that I don't want to bump into and as long as I don't bump into them it's a good day by the way did I tell you guys that I need to learn German and French for one of my classes because there's all these phrases in German and French that I need to be able to say and interpret and it's part of my exam for the end of semester but it's fine it's a good day and it's gonna stay a good day until I bump into people I don't want to bump into which I feel like I'm not I feel like I've dodged the bullets so talk to you guys later hey y'all so it's 4 p.m. my day got better when I stopped complaining about it I just finished my last class and I'm gonna go home instead of like adhering to my responsibilities until 11 o'clock at night <laughs> I'm gonna go home but my day did get better once I stopped complaining and I really really like my tutor for this class which is a good thing and we have like presentations that we need to do we have two presentations that we need to do for the same class and we basically had to like rush to choose whichever presentation we could choose and first in best dress they get whatever presentation they want if they're in there first so I quickly went to the library and booked the first two weeks so next week and the week after for my presentations because I just want to get it over and done with so that I don't drown later in the semester Anyways, so I'm gonna go home and, <laughs> wow, you can't even see me. I'm gonna go home, I'll talk to you guys later. Honestly, so happy to be going home right now. Y'all don't even know, I'm gonna go to Kmart first. I'll bring you guys along, but I'm gonna go to Kmart and I'm gonna buy a planner because mine is destroyed. And I'm also gonna buy a few notebooks and then I'm gonna get my life together and then I'll be good to go tomorrow. Tomorrow is a new day, today was a bad day but tomorrow doesn't need to be so yeah See. look I know that I'm here for planner stuff but look how cute these plants are I love them I think I should buy a plant like look at these I think I need this book sparkly and pink and this as well sparkly and black I'm gonna buy both of them. Okay, to be honest, they have literally everything here except for what I need. They have so many cute books, like this is so cute, this is so cute, and this is so cute. But I really need like a planner, but a financial year planner that starts in like the beginning of July, and they don't have one. They do have these though. Wait. They do have these though which is like a Monday to Sunday planner but I really want like a actual book not like that so that I can like take it with me and travel with it and I can't find one so I think I'm gonna get a binder and then fill it up with uni books but I can't decide what colour grey or pink I really love grey but I really love pink you guys know pink's my favourite colour but like grey though 
and grey will match every outfit. But like pink. Pink doesn't doesn't matter if it matches or not because it's pink. It's cute. Um struggles. Hey so it is 7 pm. I just got home. Um I feel a lot more calm. I think it was just a moment of me just being overwhelmed because I know how much I have to do. Like for my Monday classes, I have two classes on Monday and I have 2,000 word essay, 3,000 word essay, 4,000 word essay, a presentation, a group presentation, an individual presentation, another individual presentation, a written piece that goes with the group presentation, um, a written piece that goes with the individual presentation, an exam, and in the exam I have to learn German and French language to be able to do this exam properly. So I have to have, like, I have to have knowledge of particular phrases in German and French, as if I'm if ever going to know that. Um, and I forgot what else, but I'm just, like, really overwhelmed. But to be honest, planning out my life and getting this, like, university stuff made me feel a little bit better. So I just want to show you what I got real quick. And then I think I'm going to end this vlog because I don't know how people weekly vlog, but, like, this has been a day vlog and I've had a mental breakdown. But this is basically what university looks like for me. And I always, like, have a mental breakdown and then relax myself and put things into perspective and try to be a bit more grateful. Like, today I was so stressed, almost missed the bus, was complaining about a subway roll, um, was just complaining about being in university in general, but I was just like, okay, Smith, that alhamdulillah, you didn't miss the bus, you almost did, but you didn't. Alhamdulillah, you get to go to university. Alhamdulillah, you have money to go and buy a subway roll. You know what I mean? So I feel a lot more content now that I rationalize myself and just happy again so let me show you what I brought real quick brought some chewing gum which I'm chewing right now so if that's annoying I'm sorry and brought some pens I got this binder so that I can just put whatever subjects like stuff for that day that I'm taking to university in this binder and go eight books um because I have five classes because I'm doing five units this semester trying to finish my degree fast and I'm also doing two different Islamic courses so I have those books for those and I'm also I also just wanted an extra book um for some personal stuff really pretty denim book that says get inspired on the front I'm inspired I just love denim so that's why I got it there were a lot of really cute books but the pages had like a yellow tinge in it and I can't handle that so I had to get ones that were pure white so I got that but this really cute one, super cute, it's a journal, um, I really want to get back into journaling again because I haven't done it in a while and I feel like it's a really, really, really good stress release, so I'm going to get back into that like ASAP, like I'm starting tomorrow morning. And the last one is this one, and I don't know, I think this is just really cute, I want to use this for like Quran because I really like writing Quran stuff, like stuff down for, for example, like when I'm reading a good verse and I want to remember that verse, I like writing them down. And I think I also want to start a thing where I put a verse at the beginning of every one of my videos. So it's really good for that when I'm reading Quran and I want to write stuff down. Or even when, this is just my Quran book, so everything to do with Quran. So if I read something and I don't understand it, I know that's something I want to research more, I'll write that down. Or, you know, stuff like that. I just want to write it down. That's my haul. And, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Last thing. Wow. You guys just dropped. Let me set you back up real quick. So last thing, I was trying to look for a planner. Because I do have a planner, but it's just like, I don't know. I just wanted a new one that was like financial year planner. So it starts at the beginning of July rather than January. Because that's just a bit more suitable for me. So I was looking for one, couldn't find one at all, and honestly I could have gone to another shop and got one, but I couldn't be bothered, so um, I just said I'll stick with my normal planner. And I also got this other weekly planner, where you can basically just write every single day what you need to do for that day. And I swear, if you don't do this sort of thing, then you need to get onto it, because this will save your life in general. Because honestly, I don't have spare time ever. Like, Monday's fully packed, Tuesday's fully packed I have like an afternoon section where I'm free Wednesdays fully packed Thursdays fully packed Friday is fully packed Saturdays I have the morning time then fully packed Sundays is like my social family day where 
I have to fit in all of my like social responsibilities and also spend time with my family on Sundays. So like my week's fully packed and if I don't plan my week properly then I'll get overwhelmed and stressed and probably want to die. So alhamdulillah for planners and if you guys are really really busy in general as well then I would definitely recommend you guys getting a planner too. I've been talking for five minutes. I love you guys. I'm going to end this video here. It's a good day and if you weren't feeling the good day at the beginning of this video, I hope you're feeling it now. I know I stressed you out probably at the beginning of this video and I was like really like not myself. But I turned it around by switching my mindset and becoming a bit more happier in general. So I hope that you guys learned something, I guess, about, you know, how to switch your mindset and become more happy and motivated and like relax, even though it's been a rough, chaotic, worst day ever. It is a good day ended up being a good day after all. I'm gonna go spend some time with my family now. Um, what else was I gonna say? With that being said, make, with that being said, make sure you like this video if you like vlogs, if you like university vlogs, if you, I don't know, like the fact that I gave you tips of how to, I don't know, stay motivated, I don't know if that's a thing. Like this vlog if relatable. Make sure you subscribe because I'm desperate. Make sure you follow my social media at Samantha J. Boyle. And with that being said, I'm just going to go now. Like, bye.